it's Reya, and today I'm here with a huge book haul, the first one ever. And uh, I have a huge ton of books, like some are some I've bought, some are from the library, and some are comics. And there's a lot, so let's just step right into it and start looking through these books. First up, I'll go with the library books. I went a bit crazy and loaned a few books that I've been really interested in reading and also some that were recommended by people on booktube. So first is Grace of Kings, the first the first book in the Dandelion Chronicles by Ken Liu. And I've already read this one actually, so there'll be a review coming up shortly. <gasps> Next I have The Wall of Storms by Ken Liu, which is the second volume of the Dandelion Chronicles, and this is a huge, huge book, and I don't even know when I when I will have time to read it. But it's it's a number one priority because it is a library book. Next up is The Truth Witch by Susan Denard, and I'm currently reading this. Uh, I'm about halfway through, and I'll probably do a little review once I'm done with it. I think that I may not have the most mainstream opinion on this book, but we'll, we'll return to it. Next up is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefwater. And uh, I was really intrigued by the covers of this book series. I've tried not to really dive into the whole synopsis because I kind of want to go in blind when I read this. But I do know that it's about psychics, which kind of intrigues me. And on a similar note, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, I absolutely love the covers on her books. So I was really intrigued when I first saw uh, when I first saw them. And she is very hyped on BookTube, so I think I I think I owe it to myself to at least give it a try. And the final library book is Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, and it is very circus themed and very well loved on BookTube. And I love circus themes and kind of macabre gothic settings, so I think this will be right up my alley. Okay, moving on to comics. I bought a huge ton of manga when I was in Desukon. And I mentioned in my Desukon haul that I will make a separate book, vi book haul video. And this is it, so let's just jump right in. First up, I got the first two volumes of Magus Bride. And I have actually read this manga before, uh, but I I wanted to own a physical copy for myself because I absolutely love this series. Elias is my bae, I absolutely adore him, and I I kind of love all these kinds of Beauty and the Beast type stories where there's a, there's a girl or a boy and the so-called love interest is not exactly the most humane in either physical or spiritual way. Next up is the first volume of the Monster series, uh, the Omnibus version, which collects the first 16 chapters. I actually own the first volumes in like separate um, copies, uh, but because Viz Publishing decided that they won't publish the volumes in single, single volumes anymore, I had to start collecting the omnibus version, which is actually pretty nice. I I love the cover and the style of it. It looks more adult than the original um, original editions. So yeah, I absolutely love Monster. So if you haven't if you haven't read Monster, you should. It's very it's a very psychological thriller. It's is set in uh, Germany. It tells the story of a Japanese doctor working in Germany who gets caught up in this murder mystery where he is technically blamed for murder that he didn't commit. He spends his time traveling in Germany trying to find the person who did commit the murder and at the same time helping people and convincing them of his innocence. It is a brilliant story, I love it. Next I got uh, three volumes of Bright Story volumes five, six, and seven. I already had the four, first four. And I absolutely adore this series. I would have gotten the eighth, eighth volume as well, but it got sold out before I managed to snatch it. But this 
story is basically about brides on the Silk Road and their lives and everything that happens to them and their family families and it is a, it is amazing it has beautiful art and absolutely great storytelling and everything it is great and i will definitely recommend it it's by Kaur Mori who has also done Emma which is another great great manga so definitely recommend and then off to books that i bought recently i i have bought these books in about in the last four weeks or so. First, I bought the whole Captive Prince series because my friend recommended it to me. And these were pretty cheap. I think I paid a little less than 30 euros for every single one, like for the whole set. So I was like, okay, might as well buy all three because it was so cheap. Yeah, I'm kind of intrigued. It has kind of this... Um, I feel like it's kind of inspired by... Yaoi, like yaoi manga, it's kind of like boys love romance, kind of in that cheesy, cheesy way, not in like, um, not necessarily in the most like straight-faced like LGBT representation way, but kind of like um, cheesy, uh, trashy romance way, which I'm, I'm definitely willing to give it a go. Next I bought this uh, book by Emmi Itaranta, it is Teemestarin uh, it is Teemestarin Kirja, and there is an English translation out on this, which she also wrote. Uh, she also wrote the English translation herself, and I will leave the name and a link to it if you want to check it out uh, in the description. And finally, I bought the last two books of the East Green trilogy by uh, Sarah Monet and Elizabeth Bear. I bought The Tempering of Men and The Apprentice. Apprentice to Elves, and I've been meaning to buy this for a long time, like Apprentice to Elves came out I think last year, but Tempering of Men has been out for a while, but it got sold out almost everywhere, and I have the first book in hardback, and I was like, nope, I'm not, I'm not going to buy them in paperback, because I already have the first volume in hardback. So then I came across Tempering of Men in hardback, and I jumped at it and bought them, and now I have the whole set, and I'm really happy. Yeah, that has been my book haul. If you have any questions about the books that I, books that I bought, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!